a movement that could bring many of the jobs that have disappeared back to the Piedmont. A lot of what you see are the mega cities, Los Angeles or Pittsburgh, and you know we want to see more Burlingtons around the nation, the typical American city. Piedmont inventors and entrepreneurs heading to the nation's capital to talk about how making their own products could be the answer our economy needs. All right, thank you, uh, Emily. Uh, over the years, the Piedmont has been hit hard with the loss of lots of jobs in textiles and also manufacturing. But there's a growing movement that many argue could bring those jobs back. It's called the Maker Movement, and this weekend groups from Burlington and Alamance County will be in the nation's capital to explain how what's happening locally could be a model for other communities. A maker might say this is what creativity sounds like. But you could say this is what creativity looks like. We're going to use it in classes so kids can learn programming. Big Tetris, designed by the Alamance Makers Guild, is taking a road trip to the National Maker Fair in Washington, D.C., showing thousands of people what's possible with a little imagination. But you could build this too. So makers may be hobbyists that are coming up with new electronic kits or people that are finding new ways to do textiles in the U.S. Bennett Harris is one of 17 Burlington Alamance County makers who will be in D.C. pushing the importance of supporting maker communities. All with the idea of helping to create new jobs, bringing manufacturing back, boosting STEM education. Education is a big part of why Tiffany Emig is making the trip. Gone are the walls of our classrooms. We have extended them to our community. She's the assistant principal and STEM coordinator at Blessed Sacrament School. I'm really looking forward to seeing if there's other schools that are on display there that we can bring ideas back. Especially because she has already seen the difference maker-based learning can make. The school's recent high-altitude balloon launch sparked a new sense of excitement. And it really excites them to to learn that they're only limited by their imagination and there's people right down the street that can help you make it happen. One of those community makers is a recognizable face. Burlington's Mayor Ian Baltudas started a company eight years ago and is going to D.C. to talk about a new direction. What the role of the city is in the maker ecosystem. Because many times we hear about maker spaces as an individual entity and what Burlington's pioneering is this idea of collaboration across the entire community. Burlington is the model of maker community. That is our goal. President Obama has been a big supporter of the maker movement and in fact he declared June 17th through the 23rd the National Week of Making to promote new businesses and the return of manufacturing jobs. The White House hosted its first maker fair in June 2014.